Oh, genetic fusion is irreversible. You've got to be kidding me. What's the situation, Doc? Still hopeless. Fantastic! At least then, none of them can escape me. I'm gonna try some. I would say don't do anything rash. But since you're not listening to me even now, I'll just say, I hate you. I hate you from the bottom of my soul. Thanks, Doc. Good luck to you, too. Get out! Now! Uh. Get out! Now! Uh. Why didn't I pack my animal trainer hat?
At last. I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment. I left my bag inside. Get on with it. We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm. With your bag or without. Argus will set out any moment now. I don't have much time left. Goal? Goal! Oh, what a bummer. Cletus! Here. Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls. La la la. Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls. La la la. No, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with, with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, oh, that a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor, he's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him. Goal? Donna, anybody? Huh, apparently nobody's home. No wonder. The implant is empty. Hey, there's Donna's remote. And the two other cartridges. I'll insert one of them. Hmm, unfortunately, Goal's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. So loud. Hey. We've got a problem. Or, or rather two. And a half. We'll make that three. It's been a while since I counted. What's the matter? You see Cletus back there. He's rather blurry. Something isn't right with my eyes. Oops. Oh. Look, Rufus. I'm Donna. I know. Feed him to the sharks. <laughs> Very nice. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? Sure. Bring it on. Cletus is about to return to Elysium with Lady Gold. And, just now, I caught him messing with the bomb controls. I think he wants to eliminate the population of Deponia. Then, there would be no more reason not to blow the place up. Oh, big time meanie. This is hard to believe. We have to tell Lady Goal about this. She might be a little hard to convince. Actions are better than thoughts. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. And therefore, Cletus is the good guy and Rufus is nothing but a... Uh... Hey, ladies! Rufus, what are you doing here? You missed me. I know. But now's not the time for our big reunification foo-for-a. Our what? Has Baby Goal explained everything to you? I was going to, but it looks like I got some of it wrong. Lady Goal just explained to me why you cannot be trusted. What? But you were supposed to persuade Lady Goal, not the other way around. Oh. Right. That was your plan? I was almost going to say you need to think of something better, but you might take that as encouragement. Well, I do. Please don't.
don't fight. Don't worry, baby. Lady Goal is about to see her mistake. Yes, I do see my mistake. The mistake is you. And even Baby Goal isn't quite as naive as you seem to believe. Right. But, hey, look. Did I just see a funny butterfly in there? A butterfly? Whee! You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. Now listen to me, will you? Why should I? You're not listening to me either. I'm going with Cletus. You should be glad I'm not setting the organ on on you. You have exactly three seconds to get out of here. That is my parting gift to you. But Goal! One. I... Two. Cletus is only taking advantage of you, and when you look down on my burning cadaver, you're really going to regret some of the things you just said. There. So there. <laughs> and now? Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy! And where is Donagol? Actually, you are now Donagol. Ew! Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? Ha! <laughs> How typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence, also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm, perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies! There are peaceful ways of settling your differences, like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah! Rufus! I might have known you were behind this. You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that. Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. Disturbing. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he... Huh? Cletus? But... Huh? Where did he go? Hmm. Unfortunately, goals... She... Can anyone be so stubborn? Cletus? Damn. I'm not Where's stubborn. He hiding? Of course you're stubborn. Now it's my turn. Well then, let's undo the mess that Creepus caused here. That shouldn't be too complicated. After all, he managed to do it. What? Well, what is this now? A countdown? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop! That was a close one. But if that was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? 
Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is gold. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so. But by then, it will no longer be my responsibility. And let's be honest, you wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for goal? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? <laughs> that shut you up all right, huh? Hey, you moron! What are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on! It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant! Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie! I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime! What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. That traitor! That traitor! What are you doing? That wouldn't be a good idea right now. Baby Donegal doesn't stand a chance against Lady Gold. Oh, <laughs> 
Press it! Press the remote! No, you... I... Flutterbacks? Go for the eyes! <laughs> Got it! Mistake! <laughs> nice try, dirt ball. One could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life. Without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that isn't possible, because you've got something that belongs to me. Right idea, wrong remote. For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? I know, you need the ascension codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about gall, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak. Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. The bomb is ticking. Oopsie daisy. No! You crack-brained numbnut. <laughs> gall. Oh, that was just... Wow. Well done. Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all along. Why did he do that? Eh, doesn't matter now. Help me up. Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No, Cletus is the liar, right? Yes, Cletus... What? Lied to me? Rufus? Cletus is... Uh... The liar? Yeah, uh... Just say it! Cletus didn't lie to you. What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all? I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling you the truth. So that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No. It only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far, but eventually the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens, and you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh! <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? Janosch and his resistance fighters will be up here any moment! Those miserable creatures don't make me laugh. I seriously doubt that any of them are still alive. Whoever concocted this attack must be completely retarded. The whole action is so stupid. I can hardly imagine you didn't have something to do with it. Hey, uh, okay, change the subject. Goal won't let that happen. Tell him, Goal. I'm sorry, Rufus. Me too. It must have been very difficult for you to show me your true face. He did that? I see now who you are. Very brave. But it isn't enough. Unfortunately. 
You've disappointed me once too often. Well, you heard the girls. Game over. <laughs> you think this is a game? This is about an entire planet full of innocent people. Oh, that's enough of your pseudo-moral nonsense. For you, this was never about the people. This was about you getting the girl. So, my friend, what is the difference between you and me? Maybe the fact that I'm not an arrogant snot? Precisely. You are the filthy underdog. The outsider from the underclasses. But only as long as you always lose. You can't win without becoming exactly like me. No more than you can live on Elysium without destroying Deponia. There is no scenario in which you win. This isn't the end, you know. Oh, I see. You're hoping for a third act. The hero dashes onto the runway, knocks on the window of the high boat. There's only one catch, Rufus. You are not a hero. You are a tragic comic clown. And this is not a romantic comedy. This is some sort of self-reflective independent crap in which there are no answers at the end. No happy ending. Only a good look at an ugly reflection, which then blabs the subtext as well. Chaos cannot win when the goal is order! <laughs> Something like that. I've still got the other remote! You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over, and the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> Her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough goal for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but goals, mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Y yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Gaul. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals and the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! Goal belongs together! Wait! I... Oh, I... Oh, this is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! Ah! They've stopped shooting! Oh, at last! Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! Oof. Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody! It's Rufus! Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we are alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Go! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Goal would surely have found a more dramatic solution, but I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which, we mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you going to miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here.
She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. Argus plan went awry, and then of the story, you have to admit you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones, and bloody poses and memberships to opposing underground organizations, so do unpack the bag. Now it's anyway way too late to sack me, and secondly, where am I gonna stay? Huzzah, let's hope far away.